Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Morning Cup of Merch. So we are back once again. Um, and look, I want to get right into it. Let's let's just hop right into it. Uh, you see the title. You know that we're talking about trends. Um, and it's the biggest question that I get in Merch by Amazon. Uh, how do I get first to market on the trend? Uh, how, how am I able to get to that first page? How am I able to dominate? Because look, regardless of what people think, it's not necessarily difficult to get in on a trend. Is it difficult to break through once a trend has gone through the roof? Absolutely. Uh, but it's still doable. What I'm talking about is being first to market and uh, dominating that very first page. You know, I always say, if you're in a hot selling niche and you can dominate those first two pages, you are good to go. You're golden, like if you're selling. Uh, so I wanna use three cases, uh, three cases that, uh, that when I was first to market on a trend and what that meant for me, and then also how you can actually start to get that, you know, top of, you know, top of mind mentality about getting in on trends. And and for the record, these are these are not gonna be recent trends. <laughs> so just to be completely transparent with you. Uh, so the first one that comes to mind uh, is Yanni Laurel. Uh, if, if you guys remember a couple of years ago, uh, there was this sound bite that was floating around. Everybody was sharing it on social media. And, and it was like, okay, well, what is it saying? Is it saying Yanni or is it saying Laurel? Yanni, Laurel, Yanni, Laurel. Um, and, and basically, depending on the frequency, depending on your age, that, that would determine whether you heard Yanny or Laurel. For the record, I can't even tell you what I do remember when hearing Yanny Laurel. What I do remember is the ka because I was able to get first to market. And here's the reason why. And, and full disclosure, this is not just a standardized, this is going to definitely be the way that you always not, you know, lock in trends. I'm not saying that at all. What I am saying is that this is a method that I've used. This is a method that other sellers have used and it has worked. It has absolutely worked. So with the Yanny Laurel situation, how I was able to get first to market on that. Uh, one, I just so happened to be on social media that day and, 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 and heavily uh, that day. So there is a bit of luck that comes with it, but uh, it's been my experience that if you see Let's let's take Facebook, for instance. If you see more than one person on your timeline sharing something, a meme or a video or something like that, that, you know, these people, they are you are the only mutual friend. They don't know each other. Um, they're just friends with you. But if you see at least three people sharing the same meme, that's something to look into. That's, it's popular. Some some people are thinking about it, especially very early on. So you have to be cognizant when you're on social media as to what you're actually looking at. I know a lot of people are just like, oh, I'm on social media just to connect with friends and for fun. But let's be honest, a lot of us spend a lot of mindless time on social media. So if you train your mind to think, oh, OK, I recognize this because I've seen it once. I've seen it twice. The third time, let me start looking into it. So when that happened, the first thing I did was I went to Google Trends. And I looked up Yanny Laurel um, and I started to see that the search volume over that day has started to rise up. The second thing I did was I went to Twitter and I think I probably wasted some time with it, even though I was still first to market. Um, I, the second thing I did was I went to Twitter and I looked into the Explore tab and I typed in Yanny Laurel. And sure enough, there are plenty of people talking about it. And I'm like, OK, at this point, it's like maybe noon. This is it's midday. And I said, OK, well. Let's get to it. So I'm already in front of my computer. I already had Photoshop pulled up. Um, and I just immediately, I cranked out 10 designs. Here's the key to it. The first five designs that I did were just text-based. And that's one of the strongest keys. When you are doing text-based designs, you have to think of it from this standpoint. Yes, there are gonna be other more graphic-based designs that are gonna come up. Yes, there are gonna be designs with better type, uh, typography come up. But if you are first to market, then you have the opportunity to sew in that initial group of sales before anybody else gets on it. Now, don't just stop there. You want to do more graphics, but you want to be first to market because that's the person that's going to get a good bit of the uh, first round of sales. Um, with that being said, don't just put up crappy designs. Don't just put like, 
still learn the basics of typography. Uh, if you're not good at typography, I recommend this app all the time. It's Typerama. I'm not an affiliate. It's on your uh, Google Play and your Apple Store. Um, I have the pro version. It cost me $14.99. I think I caught it on the sale. But uh, being able to be first to market with good typography, text-based designs that I could crank out really quickly, that helped. And then while those were processing, I went ahead and I did more of my graphic style designs. Now, I got the first designs up and, and here's where the look comes in. Uh, unfortunately, there are times where you want to get a trend up and Amazon <laughs> decides, you know what? We're going to have a long processing time today. <laughs> Sometimes it's super quick. The other times it's just like, my goodness. But, uh, <laughs> and, and, and it's frustrating. Don't get me wrong. It's very frustrating. It's happened several times in the last couple of weeks. Uh, but I was able to get that up and probably about 3 p.m. I had my first crop of 30 designs up, 30 unique designs. After that, you start to see more trickle in. Okay. And now because you are first to market, you get to see not so much what other people are doing, because I think the biggest problem is once you see something else come through and it's like, oh, I like that. Now I have to do that. No, that's a problem. No, just see where it's going. Just see where it's going. Is there something that is like, so for instance, with Yanni and Laurel, uh, for whatever reason, a lot of designs popped up that were the color red. Okay, cool. No problem. So I started doing red sound waves on the next crop of designs that I did for Yanni Laurel. And it, and it worked. And I was able to dominate that first and second page. And here's the thing. There are people that came along with much better designs than me. And there were people that came along and they ran ads. And there were probably people that did outsell me eventually. But what I do know is I got that first group of sales. So that's one trend. Uh, another trend. Uh, and this one I did completely text-based, completely in type of resizing over, and then uploaded. There was a viral video. Uh, I want to say it was either 2019. It was like mid-2019 of a young man that was having issues at a hotel. He was a hotel desk clerk. And um, the woman, you know, she was being a little irate and, and the whole night. And, and once she finally decided, oh, wait, let me stop because we're not going to be able to get into this room. He starts saying, well, it's above me now. I've already called corporate. It's above me. It's above me. Now, I didn't see that catch on Facebook immediately. It did catch on Instagram, like <laughs> pretty quickly. So immediately uh, do the same thing i went to google trends i saw i looked for it's above me i didn't see a lot but here's the funny thing then i started going to twitter going to uh instagram and just looking because this was definitely something that was fueled by younger users on social media and i'll get to that in just a second and so i said okay it's worth doing it but i didn't really know how do you do a graphic for it's above me Screw it. Let me get to Typerama. I immediately started. And, and the beautiful thing about Typerama, I know this feels like a commercial for them, but the beautiful thing about Typerama was the fact that I was actually able to go in and I was able just by a click of a button, crank out 30, 40, 50 designs, just like that, and then able to get them up. Thankfully, on that day, <laughs> thankfully, on that day, um, Amazon decided that processing time is going to be pretty quick. And within the hour, all of my designs were up. Here's the beautiful thing. Th that trend, actually, I'll put it to you this way. I sold It's Above Me shirts last month during Q4. Um, I even sold some in Q3. Uh, and it had been a year since. It's just, it, it's one of those things where the trend kind of takes on this pop culture type of deal. Uh, but over time, what kept it selling, and this is why I say the younger audience is a little bit better when it comes to these things. What ended up happening was because I was first to market, people would get those shirts and now they're wearing them on Instagram and they're hashtagging. It's above me now. It's above me. All of these different things. And then, of course, at, at that point, they're acting as your brand ambassadors because people are asking them, hey, where'd you get that shirt? Oh, I got it on Amazon. And of course, when you go to Amazon, because I'm first to market and I had a, a good bulk of the sales. Now, that one I really did dominate uh, because I had a, bulk, a good bulk of the sales. As soon as you got there, you saw mine. It had reviews. And, and here's the here's the part. Because it was done on Typerama, it's very easy for somebody else to do the exact same design. 
So if they see that this design that clearly is done on type of Rama, I can tell the type of Rama design just like that. They see it, they can do the exact same one. They can put it up. Here's the difference. I have sales, I have reviews. Even if they try to undercut me on a price, reviews are the golden ticket on Amazon. And then I got the Amazon choice badge. So I wasn't even worried because you can't really call them copycats. We have the same software. But I was not really worried about them at that point because I had the social proof. I was there ahead of time. And here's the deal. As I was going through, there were much better shirts than mine. Much better. Like, I would have to, I, I would question myself. Like, I would probably buy their shirt before I bought my own. But at that point, because of a trend like that, it caught on quick. And I was first to market. And then the last, I would say, would be Area 51. Now, this was a very interesting one because though I was first to market, I was not the dominant shirt. <laughs> I just, I just wasn't. There were some amazing designs for the Storm Area 51 uh, trend. Uh, designs that I, I would look at and just be like, my goodness, I didn't even think or my mind could not even comprehend that. I'm not afraid to say when somebody is better at me than something. And, and, and for those of you who caught in on that trend and you had those really great designs, you know I'm talking to you. Props to you. However... However, because I got first to market, and here's how it happened. It wasn't me on social media. It wasn't me on Google Trends. It was literally because I'm in the living room, and my mother-in-law <laughs> says, these fools are talking about storming Area 51. Immediately. <laughs> immediately my 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 spider senses started tingling i said what and i grabbed my phone and i just start hey with no problem the moment she said that i started designing and i did that because i was like okay if this type of news is breaking news and they're talking about storming and this made it to my mother-in-law hey and she stays tuned into the news make no mistake about it I, I, I can I can never catch her on anything. She knows what's going on. It's just it's just that simple. So I immediately start designing. I immediately start throwing things up. Here's where I had a little bit of an advantage. Uh, I was at, at the time. I, I I think I still am. I have to I have to check because my inbox has been flooded. If I am not, I am going to subscribe again. I was subscribed to uh, Michael Essany's um research guide that he put out every week with that research guide there would be a monthly design bundle and it just so happens that one of the months was everything space related so you had all of these aliens you had all these ufo you had everything and i'm just like oh this is perfect i got graphics for this right now so after i cranked out the text-based design which i did again on typorama screw it call it a commercial uh after i did the text-based ones i immediately hopped on my computer and I pulled that folder and I started designing and I was able to make some great, great designs with it. But again, there were people who were much better than me. So what's the takeaway from all of this? One, you have to recognize that this is not foolproof. It is a risk. You may get on a trend that doesn't sell anything. It's plain and simple. Uh, that's first. Second, text base is king, but make sure that your designs do not suck. And finally, pay attention. Pay attention to what's going on. If you're already on social media, make sure, again, if I see three people or more sharing a meme, and I know that I don't have any connection to, well, they don't have any connection to each other other than me, that means several people are talking about this, and I need to hop on it. So. Really, that's 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 it. That's it. Now you can catch on to trends. You can use tools like Merchant Former to see what's trending, and you can catch on to trends after, and you can still get those sales. But when it comes to being first to market, you have to 
you have to use social media and the internet like it is a business tool because that's exactly what it is. Okay, so that's all I've got uh, for today, guys. Please take care. Uh, everybody have great sales days. I will see you next time, same place, next week. Take care.